ask you something. What do you think? Um, what do you think women struggle to understand about men that would help them kind of get into a committed relationship with the kind of man that she likes? I think through my experience being on social media, because you know I, I make content and stuff about yeah. similar topics. I feel like the the issue that I've seen a lot is women trying to understand men through a female lens. 100%. You Clip can't. that. Clip <laughs> that. You can't do that. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Yeah. It's, it's impossible. Even the other way around. So we're not going to try and... Absolutely right. We're different. Yes. We're, our perception on things is different. Um, the way we think, the way we react, uh, the things that men... For men, respect is everything in a relationship. Yes. Um it's, it's a lot for women too. I'm not disputing that, but we hold it to such a higher degree. Like mm. it's everything for us. The perception, how you make us look in public to people, like that's so important to us, mm. important to them too. But I would say at a much, much lesser scale. Yeah. And not to digress, but the point is, is that understanding men through a female lens is never going to happen. Yes. And you'll forever go through the journey of life trying to understand a man's mentality, thinking like a woman. Mm, it's so, so true. One thing that I, I tend to say with people I work with as well, especially women that I work with is that, or just men, people in general, mm. you don't have to understand why mm. your partner needs this from you, but just understand that they need it from you. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, for example, I'm not a big texter, right? Like Same. I'm the kind of person who I'd rather have a phone call every few days than texting all day, every day. This has been a common thing with maybe women that I've been involved with where they want more from me. And I'm thinking, what, like, if, if we go out and I spend time with you and stuff, like, why do I have to text you for you to feel loved at whatever? But it's like, look, even though I don't understand, I should make more of an effort. And I have made more of an effort because that's just a need of theirs. That's mm. how they feel affection, even if that's not how I feel affection. So I think best for women, men and women to, at least be together a hundred percent right. I don't think you need to understand why, because like you said, there are things as a man, we will never understand about a woman and what it means to be a woman in that regard. But as long as we, un as long as we understand what she needs from us and we do that, then it's good. And I think it's the same way the other way around. It's, it's the typical concept, right? You, you get along with the girl, she meets your mum. You know, that for Standard. us is everything, right? hundred percent. Meet mum. Yeah. Your mum will see stuff in her that you've never seen in your life. Mm -hmm. We shall see it in a week. Mm -hmm. Things that you haven't seen 10 years, five years with her. Yeah. Because why that women to women, female to female connection. Yeah. We just don't see it. And it's probably right in front of us. Yeah, it's but so we, true. We just don't, we don't see it because we're not them. We're not in that mode. We don't think like that. We don't move like that. We're different. Yes. Whereas my mum will see it straight away. She'll be like, how did you not see that? I'll be like, I don't know. Maybe I did. <laughs> just, just, yeah. Maybe I did, but the outfit was looking too good. Yeah. I just kind of, I don't know, pretend, I don't know. Just didn't see it. So would you say that it, it, it's, um, before a woman chooses a man to be like, this is the man I want. Would you say it's the same that it's really important that she introduces him to her father for the exact same reason for him to see certain things? Yeah. Um, but then a lot of, a lot of, this is where it gets really technical. A lot of girls, don't have a good relationship with their father. Yeah. So yeah. how does she then navigate through life? Because the thing with it is, right, is people have this misconception that having both parents at home is a positive thing. Now, generally it is. Mm. Generally, it's, it's psychoanalysis 101, two parent household, better for children. Yes. But the thing is, is that are they there only physically mm. and not in not every present. other aspect? You're right. Right? Or, you know, because look, you've got people that co-parent. And, and they have a great relationship with their dad. So it's not about being there physically. Women, especially from a man, and this is where it starts with the father, and this is why the whole daddy issues things comes out, right? Mm. It's, it, they need that affection. Mm. They need that affection. They need that reassurance. Yes. All of these things are key. And when you don't have that in, in a relationship, it's slowly, you're going to start seeing it. Remember, women leave emotionally then physically i would i would argue men the other way around yeah right? we point. walk out act in haste walk out and then we 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 slowly go through our process where we talk to our boys and Very true. and some don't and they they're at home depressed and xyz she's gone through that depression more time while laying next to you yes right she's so checked true. out so it's about like 
if she doesn't have a good relationship with her dad, it's going to be hard for her, generally speaking, to navigate through life as it relates to men because she doesn't understand the male experience. Yes. Um, so, but to answer your question, uh, it is important for her. I think mm. it's important, but at what level of the relationship? It's got to be where there's actually longevity and you've accepted someone for their flaws. Right. Right? Yes. Because even when we go back to the dating, right? A lot of people, they date, of course, like I said, for different reasons, but don't be submerged in things that in the longer period of time don't become, aren't significant anymore. Very true. Like if he's got money and he's got status, which generally women like in a man, because women think ahead, we think the other, we think backwards. Yep. We look at our past, they look at our future, yes. right? It's like this, yes. yeah? Oh, you won't accept me for my past, right? And it's like, yeah. but that's how we're wired. If I told you in five years, this is how I'm going to be some raging alcoholic that's jobless, you're going to bail. If you had a time machine, you're going to bail because they look at ambition. So I agree with you. Yeah. So let me, let me play devil's advocate to that. Yeah. What would you say to people who say, oh, let's say the women who talk to you, they say, oh, well, a guy should care about my future as well instead of my past. Mm -hmm. A guy should care about, okay, cause yeah, sure. If, if a woman said to a guy, oh yeah, in five years time, I'm gonna be a raging alcoholic. I doubt a guy would stay around, right? Hope you really enjoyed that clip. If you wanna watch the full episode where that clip is from, then we need to click right here where you can watch the full episode. And if you're ready to claim your man today, enroll in my program below and I'll see you there. Wishing you an amazing day.